up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how you can make a set inside of Logic. Now, for the most part, our workflow up to this point has included us creating tracks that we're gonna then import into MainStage or Ableton or Prime. But that does not to say that you can't run a, an entire set inside of Logic. Uh, some, some do, and, and it's totally doable. And so in this video, we're gonna show you how you can actually do that. Let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing that we're gonna do is that we've already been working on a particular uh, project here. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's great. We're, we're gonna wanna add more songs to this project if we're gonna be running more than one track at a time. And if we're gonna be adding more songs, we're definitely gonna want to keep ourselves organized. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select everything that we've got, or I could select all of these tracks all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and create a track stack. And so if I right click on, on any one of these tracks, I can go ahead and say create track stack. Now track stacks are great and uh, there's two different types of stacks. There's folder stacks and there's summing stacks. So with a summing stack, it basically is going to be as if you were using this track and playing um, patches along with it. Um, a folder stack, though, is kind of more to stay organized, where you can mute, solo, control, and, and you can set kind of the outputs to each of these, you know, individually. So for us, since we're not actually using Logic as a playback device for instruments, we're using Logic as a playback device solely for tracks, we're going to go ahead and use a folder stack. We'll show you what the summing stack does in a second. So I'll click Create, and you can see a new track has been created, and it's basically this track stack. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll click on this vertical zoom here so you can kind of see. But there it is. It's great. And the other thing that I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and uh, change this marker track uh, to reflect the actual song that we're working on. So this is Joy. I'll name it in a couple spots. Uh, I'll double click on the channel strip name. I'll say this is Joy in the key of E at 114. Right? But I can do the same thing with our markers as well. So I'll go ahead and click on this and I, I've got this current marker set, which is currently untitled. I'm gonna go ahead and rename it to my arrangement. And uh, we'll call it arrangement one because I could have a couple different arrangements. But I can click on it and I can create a new set and I'll call this uh, songs. This will make sense in a, in a little bit later. And I'll go ahead and create a new marker at the beginning. And remember, the, uh, we can hit the plus button here for that. And we'll call this one Joy. Great. Now, this will be our first song in our set. If I want to create more songs, or if I want to add more songs to the set, we'll build off of what we've already kind of covered in the series, which is we'll go ahead and just start dragging in new tracks. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll press the letter F again. And I'll go to my bookmarks. I'll head over to our folder that we're using songs from, and I'll choose uh, this song, Unending Love, right? So I'll click on it, and I'll go ahead and just drag them all in to the next empty available spot. Right here seems pretty good. I'll create some new tracks. Great. Now, I'm still technically um, in the same BPM since I dragged them all in. So I'll need to tell um, Logic to look at the drums and analyze the, the song from um, one of these songs. In fact, I'll go ahead and actually choose the keys here. I'll say adapt project tempo to region tempo. By the way, if you haven't noticed by now, when you right click um, on any region, Logic will try and remember the most recently used command, and it'll give you that list of recently used commands right over here. So let's give this a shot. And you can see now it's kind of changed the tempo uh, to 67 for, for the duration of that song. So let's enable the click, and let's make sure that smart tempo actually did its job. Yeah, pretty, pretty close. I did, didn't do a good job of dragging this on directly onto the uh, region. And you can see that when I move it, it'll, it'll give me that little red line, which means that, hey, you're about to change the tempo to an earlier section. And in this case, that's fine, because I'm just going to have it butt up right here. And now that should play uh, in time. So I'll go ahead and go back to the beginning. Let's play this. Great. 
Awesome. Now, because I've added in a new um, track, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the beginning. And in my marker, I'm gonna go ahead and create another marker here, which will basically be where my next uh, song starts. So again, I can hit the plus button and it'll add that marker right at that song. Uh, the keyboard shortcut that we've set up is option uh, single quote, and that'll open that up. But this one is called unending. Great. And so now I've got all of those added in. And if I wanted to create a new folder from these, we'll do the same thing. So I'll select all of them and uh, I'll right click. And in this case, uh, we have already created a, uh, a folder stack. Let's show you what a summing stack does, just so you get the idea. They both do the same thing. They keep our, our files organized and, and keep our track list manageable. Uh, but this one's gonna give us a few more options. We can actually place processing on this. So if we wanted to tighten up our sound, um, we could actually do a couple things with this particular track. Let me, let me hide these uh, inspectors in, in the left-hand side. Let me close the track out. And let me go ahead and call this what it is. It's called unending. It's at 67 beats per minute. I actually don't know the key of it right now, but I'll look it up later. Um, and we'll just call it unending at 67. So in here, I've got unending. Uh, in here, I could actually do a couple things. So if I wanted to you know, uh, send this out to a different set of outputs, I could. If I wanted to add like a compressor or any kind of EQ on it, I could do that all right here. With the summing stack, we don't really have an option uh, to do that. But with this other stack, we do. We can kind of do some more stuff. So depending on what you need, uh, we'll determine which kind of these stacks you're gonna wanna go with. So if I say create stack, remember the folder stack, that's gonna give you a very um, simple um, mute solo volume set of options, where a summing stack is gonna give you a lot more options than that. Right, so we've got our two tracks in here, we're gonna add a third track and that'll be our set. So I'll go ahead and uh, add another track. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna add the uh, track for um, Run. We'll end with that song. It's a pretty powerful song. And if you don't wanna bother with dragging and kind of guessing where it's gonna land, uh, you can just click Add and wherever your playhead is at, that's where these tracks are gonna get added. So if we hit Add, we'll create new tracks. You can see it just lines it up right there on that particular uh, playhead. Great. So I think the one to work with here is going to be the keys. So I'll just click on this and I'll say adapt project tempo to region tempo like we've done before. And you can see it's kind of popped up. And let's see what we get when we press play. Okay, so it's a little off right now. Um, but that's okay. Uh, you can see it didn't quite get it at the beginning. So we're just going to drag this tempo right here to the very beginning so that it lines up with the beat. And let's try it one more time. Yeah. So in that case, we basically have gotten all of our tracks uh, lined in. Let me close the browser and let's go ahead and add a marker in this track over here. So I'll hit the plus button. I'll double click here to name it. This one's called Run. Great. And uh, we'll do what we did before where we'll grab all of these tracks and we'll make a track stack out of it. Uh, and it's up to you, folder stack or summing stack, either one works just fine. I like having the option of running more compression or EQ on there, even though I probably won't, but I like having that just as an option. So I'll say summing stack. Cool. And then I'll rename this track stack to be run. It's at 138 beats per minute. So now if I use our horizontal rule, uh, you can see we've got all of our songs listed out. Great, so that's how we can create custom sets inside of Logic. And it's pretty great if you just wanna play the song the whole way through. Now, if you do want the flexibility of jumping from section to section uh, and doing spontaneous arrangements, then we're definitely gonna to wanna to take a look at Main Stage. And that's the next set of videos that we're gonna release. Well, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you around.